what's happening everyone i hope you're all all right um seen a few videos go up lately of a few people um, and a few weird alcohol allegations and again people had the 10 pence on things so listen to it from yourself Decha Regi, Dirty Decha, yeah? You're right, I have called you a paedophile a lot of times, and I still stand by that. You are a paedophile, you are a scumbag, you are a... You're a monster of a man fighting, and you're a monster of a man against women. I sent you a message on Instagram, because randomly enough, I ended up seeing your Instagram as a suggested follow, when since you used to lick that in G's ass and be like, Darren, I'm your number one fan, please, Darren, like, you know, I'm your mate. When you were licking his ass, I was blocked. So I seen I was unblocked the other day. So I thought, you know what? I've seen him call me a few things when he was on live with Darren. I think he called me crackhead or something. When, I was, when he was on live with Darren, this was months and months ago. I've always held a bit of thing about it, thinking, fuck, he think he is to call me that. So, you're right, I've called you a paedophile. I've called you a sex offender. On your criminal record, it says you're a sex offender. It says you've been nicked for sexual assault. You say it was only slapping a bird's ass. If you slap my ma's ass, I'll blow your head off. If you slap my sister's ass, I'll blow your head off. So, anyone else and yourself, if someone slapped your ma's ass, how would you feel, Decker? Yeah? Now, I knew this was going to happen. Right, because I've seen you indirectly talking about me the day after I said it's about wanting to fight with Dean. So I sent you a message on WhatsApp and said, instead of making judgments on each other, there's my number, sweet mate. Little fish bump, little lad. Yeah? That's me trying to sort something in private. You got a problem for me in private, mate. You've got my number now still. You'd have my number before you clickbaited me and put Liam Ditchy in a video. You could have phoned me and called me a cunt. You could have phoned me and told me you were going to do... You, you could have phoned me, but you're done a video. Loads of people who I've either speak to, have spoken to, I like, I respect, have threw me under the bus. I've done videos about me. I've clickbaited me. I've said things about me when they've all had my number. So it's not just you, Decker, and I don't mean to sound bad, but you are a convicted sex offender, but it's on your record you're a convicted sex offender. Where I come from, it doesn't matter what any sex offences on your record, you're classed as a nonce, yeah? So, Decker, to me, you're a nonce, yeah? I tried to get your number, get you to phone me, so you didn't do all this shit all over the internet, yeah? I've got a new job, I'm in work, I'm sweet, I'm living a life, I'm not on here every day, you're going about how poisonous YouTube is, are you forgetting last week on the week before and the month before and the month after, you've been sitting in your mum and dad's porch in the house, screaming down the phone at people and being as paranoid as hell yeah you're talking about brian cockerell for fuck's sake an old fella an old respectful fella like you're leaning on people and you're doing videos about people every day you clickbait everyone's name yeah i start every video with me own so don't ever call me a cloud station again now with yourself i don't know why you put me in your titles of your videos i don't know why you're even talking about me when i sent you my number and i told you instead of making assumptions about each other mate here's my number yeah Living in London, said he's exposed me for talk. I was on a video with Fight and Talk when I was fishing three, four, five days ago before any of this even come out. And I said on the live, I messaged Decker today and I sent him my number instead of making assumptions about me online. I said that myself. I'm not going to deny that. I'm, I, I couldn't give a flying fuck what any of you lot think. It's me who gets mentioned in videos, so it's me who would rather try and sort it in the background, yeah? With the Dean Lynch Ward thing, Decker. I heard you say, is he just doing it? I know that fight's not going to happen between you and him. I think he shit himself now. I've always said I want Dean to smash your head in. And I always said I believe Dean's going to smash your head in. Because I was always close with Dean. In real respects, I think he's shitting himself to have a fight with you. I think the fight won't happen. That's why I've done it. I don't think anyone on YouTube thinks the fight's going to happen. That's why I've done it. Yeah? Now Dean's give me the 16th of July instead. He tried to give me the next day against Dougie, which I'm not going to oblige to. The fuck are you to tell me when I'm going to fight? 
but you told me the 16th in the end after saying you were going to get Dougie to smash me head in and then after saying you were going to do I don't know what you were saying you were going to do but Decker how can I put it with you mate I have watched your stuff over time every now and again and I think your head's gone <laughs> if you ask me I think your head's shot um, as I say people say well why did she send you this number but people some of some of us right can't be out here every day some of us are, are decent people and some of us are not you I wouldn't even say not YouTube because I'm being dragged into it but some of us are just trying to make a better life for themselves yeah while some of the some of us are sitting there venting to the mum and dad like you do Decca about how many trolls you've got like you're putting your mum and dad at risk by living in their house mate by being a nonce on YouTube and by shouting all stuff about people you went to Liverpool mate to do a documentary now I know the family who you went to see Decca that documentary I started crying when I watched your documentary and I did watch it all and I thought it was good I started crying when I was watching it because I know the people in it and when the girls were talking the two girls who still had kids June and Erica they were saying about oh yeah make it and the girl who lost the baby you could see her face going that damn I cried my eyes out that was the best thing I've seen towards helping anti knife crime but you're in that, you went to the Grasdale Estate, why? There's never been a knife crime issue on the Grasdale Estate. There's never been a knife crime issue in L5. Yeah, there's a gun crime issue. There's a drug issue. There's never been a knife crime and it's not high on the list of knife crime places in Liverpool. If you want to do a knife crime thing and you wanted to look at statistics, it would have been top stuff. You've done that to get at Darren G. You've done that to try and cause a feud again between you and Darren G. After last year sucking his ass. So when you've done that, and then you started crying moaning that Decca, that Darren went and posted something through your letterbox. Every every action has a reaction, Decca. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be fighting you, mate. And like, don't ever think I'm trying to call you out for a fight, because I'm not stupid enough to take a fight with you. You're an absolute animal. Yeah. You're you are an animal fighting wise. An unfit Danny Christie, in my opinion, done you in. A fit Danny Christie would smash your face in. But you can't take away from, that's my opinion through sitting on the couch by the way mate yeah but you can't take away from the fact you are a fucking animal fighting wise yeah my opinion you're also an animal towards women yeah the way you've tried to justify slapping a bird's ass think of that as your mum think of that as your sister think of that as a daughter of yours think of that as anybody you're the type of guy to be in boozers every weekend with his top off. I'm decking a bare knuckle fighter, slapping bare ass, thinking you're untouchable. You got a sexual conviction for it, mate. So when people say, "Why do you call him a nonce?" Because he showed it himself that he's got a sexual conviction. Now living in a bedsit, right? Fuck me, mate. I am your. I live in your brain. <laughs> you go sleep thinking about me. All I've seen is video after video after video after video. Ditchy this, snitchy this, ditchy this. Mate, I've seen you even begging for me to reply. Said, Why don't you reply to me? Where's me reply? Bro, I got offered to get your kid's mum on a live and let her talk on a live with me. I wouldn't do that. I'm not fucking wronging and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not spiteful. Your kid's mum done her own video and said you don't show any support to the kids you're sitting on youtube every day calling yourself living in a bed sit and getting donations off the back of 3d fight club mate right you come off as the victim and you receive hundreds if not a couple of grand in donations and say youtube take all your money so i'll give you a paypal instead to donate towards me lifestyle um, you told them all you were getting proper set up you're still filming off your phone you're still living in a bed sit. you still got broken blinds and you're still smoking weed every night nothing's changed you thought you absolutely cracked it when you had 1200 people on a live every night for a, for a week you thought you were the next celebrity on YouTube it fizzles out mate so then you go back to your old tricks and start clickbaiting me I, I'm who you go to when you're running shit 
for content and movie go to and the content you give people is Liam Ditchy, he, he has a knock here on his live today. He's back on the roads, people. I, I can't even show a phone on me live without getting sent him on the roads. Like, you've accused me of a knife point robbery of going in a normal person, a normal person's home and taking money off them. Right. Do you know what I'm going to do? Right? I'm going to drive personally to the kid. And I'm gonna grab him and make him come on camera and I'm gonna make him tell the truth. Yeah. I'm on license, mate, and you're putting that I've robbed people at knife point. You're putting that I've been driving around with a knock here and I'm back grafting again. You're like Norris of Coronation Street. So like do you know Norris with the little glasses who's in the shop with Rita? You're like an older version of Norris, bro. Like, what the fuck? Has anything I do in my personal life got to do with you? When And you probably come back, it's going to be, well, you're on YouTube claiming you're a change. I am a change man, mate. I go to work every fucking day. I was off work for four days. You made a video saying I was going to be on the job centre. Four days later, I'm a bin man, bro. I'm work and I'm doing all right. I seen you on a live the other night saying your lucky and gas bill's going to double. So is everyone's in the country, mate. But you're asking for donations to help with your one. I see you come on, people, I need these donations, man. The gas and lech is going up. There's other things you can do on social media, right, to make money. There's other ways to make money if you've got your head screwed on. You're a fucking tramp, bro, and I get under your skin so much, yeah, because I've got my own money. I am living with me, bed. You're spot on. Spot on, yeah. Got my own money. Bought me bed a nice new car yesterday. Bought myself a nice new super bike today. And I can go and do what I want when I want. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not stupid with my money. I can go to... If I went on licence now, I'd go to Mexico like, for two weeks. Can you do that? You've never... You've been to prison years and years and years ago. You've been home years living off the state. Yeah? And there's nothing wrong with you. You're not disabled. You're not... What the fuck... Can someone like you ever, ever say about someone like me to make me look bad? You say you're going to expose me about the death. I, I expose myself. I, I said it myself. You said I showed the knock here. That exactly, I showed the knock here. I don't give a fuck because I'm not doing nothing wrong. You go on about a knife point robbery, mate. If I could tell you the truth, yeah, you'd be even more angry at, than me at you are now. You'd be even more angry. Yeah, even more, you'd be, you'd be seething at the mouth. So, my bird's in a nice new golf i I'm on a, I'm on a, I wouldn't say brand new, I'd say a 15 plate GSX-R towel. What have you got, bro? Dolly, the dog on the couch with you every day. Your room, what you're in, your couch, your phone. What have you got? YouTube? If you didn't have YouTube, what would you have done? Just answer me that. If you didn't have YouTube, what have you got in life, mate? You'd have no donations. You'd be back to getting your income support or whatever you get. You'd be fucked. I think you still are fucked. You're in a bad place. So instead of looking at what other people do with their lives and you're going about, lads, I do raffles. I do. I sell, I sell anything on my Instagram. People have got something to sell. I sell it. I help out. I jump involved. I get involved. I'm... I'm always running around looking for an extra pound note, mate. That don't stop. Look, rich, Jack, poor people say. And my mind's never off trying to find a pound note, mate. Yours, on the other hand, different. People say I do this for views. For... Why would I want views? You get... When people do stuff for views, it's because they get paid. I don't get paid. I haven't monetized my YouTube. Couldn't give a fuck about it. I'm never going to monetize it. How's that one? Now, he'll use this against me if I ever do, but I never will. I will never, ever, ever monetize my YouTube channel. You will ever, never go on my channel and see an advert before me. Ever. Simple as that. So, Dan, yourself, you even said the other day after I called Dean out that Dean had got in touch with you. Bro, you threatened to get everyone arrested, mate. You, 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 you. And this was the account, guess who, son, was making videos and sending them to my probation, mate. Like, what the fuck goes on in you guys' heads, bro? 
get a job yet or get out and see a bit of sunshine see a bit of life and you might feel different you might feel better but yeah as i say i haven't got a fucking clue what your obsession is with me bro you don't like i hate him i hate him <laughs> Well, while well, you ate me, I want to finish this video. Go and put my helmet on and go for a drive for an hour on my bike through country lanes and just enjoy life, mate. You know, come back and have me tea. Big me dogs for a walk. Go to bed. Go to work. Pay me bills. Not beg for money. Not clickbait every person on YouTube's name and make a channel from everybody else except yourself. Your podcast was fucking dog shit, mate. Like, if you'd have just gone off that podcast and still been yourself and talked about yourself right the way through, no one would give a fuck about you, mate. You're a fucking dosser. But you've clickbaited every person under the sun, and I am your. You are my number one fan. Do you get me? You're my number one fan. You've asked, why don't you reply to me? I've got 20,000 views. Just reply to me. Reply when I want, mate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's it's as simple as that, Decker. No beef, lad. But don't paint me in a light where I'm trying to be your mate, mate. I ain't trying to be your mate. I sent you my number to sort it offline, mate, because I know how much manipulative prick you are. And I've heard of loads of different people. So I tried to sort it offline, mate. Um, yeah, simple as that. Anyone else? Anything else? I'm off. Going for a nice ride on the bike. Everyone else, people, my respect, living in a bed sit. What can I think of for you to do? Yeah, you can come and work for me. I can put you in my gang now working for me. Do you want to come work? Do you want a job? You come work for me. If you want a job, lad, I can put you in my gang and I'll be your team leader. Do you want to work for me, mate? Or don't you? There's a job there for you, Dan. Yeah? Stop your obsession, mate. Just, just go to sleep, yeah? Think about your kids. Think about your bed. If you carry on, mate, it's only a matter of time before I get your bed on, yeah? I don't want to do that, Dan. You probably don't want me, of all people, to speak to your bed. Because I wouldn't just ask normal questions about oh, how long was you together. I'll go fucking deep, mate, yeah? And if anything, I'll give her a drink and say, yeah, I love this. A grand, do you want to come and do an interview with me? You don't give a knot on me. She's doing YouTube and Instagram videos saying how much of a tramp you are and how much you don't look after your kids. So I might give her a grand to split between your two kids just to get her on and speak to her. I don't have to, she'd jump on anyway. But I might just do that just to, you know, let her know. There's no hard feelings in this one. Yeah, that might be trying to do your head in. But it's just, mate, look what you do against me, bro. Yeah, I might give her a quid. See if she wants to come on. Don't know. Don't know, yeah. I don't really want to put myself in here with your camel. Do you know what I mean, mate? But yeah, have a good one, people. Again, thank you. Dean Lynch Fraud, stop getting older living in London and influencing these videos, bro. No one likes you. You're a bullying prick. Decker is going to smash your face in. I've always had your back in this. And then you start saying I was team Decker. Decker done a video say you went with me. I've done a video say I went with Decker. I didn't click by Decker. Decker clicked by to me. So, Decker, chill out, bro. I didn't try and be your mate, so don't put it across that way. I sent you a message, a friendly message to phone me. Sort of private, instead of like making assumptions about each other. You could have told me reasons behind what you've done on the phone, and then I could have made my own judgment. But who am I to do with you? Who, who am I for you to tell me that? I'm nobody to you for you to explain yourself, just like you're nobody to me to explain myself, Decker, yeah? But if it was my mum or sister, mate, I'd put you in the ground. Now, with regards to fighting, not a chance, I'm not that stupid, mate. I'd pick Dean because I know I can, I can smoke Dean, mate, trust me. I know I've got something to smoke Dean, yeah? But yourself, different, like, different, different level of fighting. So I wouldn't dream of calling you out, know, mate. But if you don't mind, Decha, leave me alone, mate. Um, a few months ago, you called me a crackhead on a live. You don't know me. And then afterwards, you went on a big campaign to say people were trolling you. You you, you, you said that about me for nothing, Decha. 
I'm saying what I'm saying about you because I've seen it on paper and you've showed it on paper. Sexual assault, sexual assault, bro, you slapped the bird's ass who didn't want to be slapped. Simple as that. You've owned your wrongs, you've come on, you're still showing your face. Good on you, but to me, you're a bacon. People, see us later.